Whether you're a team of two, an organization of thousands, or anything in between, Media Central accelerates your media workflow for the fastest content turnaround. As a unified platform that offers a customizable suite of creative tools and media management, it easily scales from a simple to sophisticated solution, enabling news, sports, and post-production teams to create and collaborate from anywhere. From media ingest, search, and logging, to editing, distribution, and publishing, Media Central streamlines your entire operation, giving dispersed teams the agility to create better content faster deliver to more outlets and devices, and maximize the value of your media. So let's take a look at Media Central Cloud UX and dive right in. Media Central Cloud UX is web-based, and we have a whole range of different apps in the fast bar along the top that enable all of your various different workflows, both from Avid and from some of our trusted alliance partners as well. So here, for example, I can, of course, browse content. So I can search and navigate through all the different folders in any of my different systems. Here, for example, I'm looking at my video content system. But I can also go in, for example, and I could access my newsroom rundowns. I could also go in and I can access all of my Maestro graphics templates. And I can do all of that just by a simple click to navigate around the UI itself. I can also use the search app to search ultra fast against any of my systems to find exactly what I need. But let's take a look at some practical examples. And to do that, I'm gonna bring up the Rundown app. The Rundown app shows me my newsroom system. And here I can go in and I can create and I can write my stories. But more than that, I can also do some editing as well, because here inside of Media Central Cloud UX, I can also go in and I can bring up my timeline. Now, what I want to do just now is I want to do a search to find some more content. So let's do that. All I need to do is open the search app. Now here we're looking at some swimming content and I want to find where there's maybe some British athletes. So I'm gonna search for GBR for Great Britain. And you see here that I get one search result. So I can double click, I can launch and open up the video content and see what's in the player itself. But the reason that this is shown up, uh, the word GBR, is because this is actually in the logs for the clip itself. And here you can see in my markers tab that I can access the content and there is the word GBR. Now if I double click, it takes me directly to that point and there you can see my logger has added GBR hat to match what's actually on the swim cap itself. So let's take this shot and edit it into the timeline. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna hide my markers tab and then I'm gonna mark an in point, and I'm gonna scrub forward a little bit and mark an out point. And then I can easily add this into my timeline just by dragging and dropping. Here you can see I can do an insert or I can do an overwrite edit straight into the browser, into the timeline itself. So very simple and straightforward to find the content, but now what I want to do is I also want to go in and I want to add some graphics. So how do I do that? Well, again, inside of Media Central Cloud UX, I can just come back in here and I can bring up my Maestro graphics templates. So I'm gonna add in a little caption here to say that this is the European Championships and they're happening in Glasgow. So I'm going to use this template. So I just double click. And again, if I then bring up my other tab that I have, I can then have access to my graphics panel here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill out the graphics template. So this is the European Championships and they are from Glasgow. So what I now see in the video player is a static preview of the graphic, but I wanna see the animation, that's no problem. I can just go ahead and I can render it out. And now what I get is an animated preview of what the graphic will actually look like with all the animation. Once I've rendered it out, I can simply drag and drop it directly into the timeline, or I can drag and drop it directly into the story itself, including timing information. So you see here, it goes at the start of my sequence, but I can easily position this wherever I want it to go. I can make the graphic longer or shorter. And then what I can do is in the timeline directly is I can come here and I can play it back. So I'm just gonna hide my graphics tab here and let's play back and have a look at the graphic itself in context. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. 
And there I have the graphic directly in the timeline itself as a preview. But Media Central Cloud UX gives you not only the ability to create content, search content, find what you need, write your stories, it also gives me the ability to publish as well. So directly in Media Central Cloud UX, we have a publish app. And the publish app allows me to publish to social media or to publish to a playback server as well. We've also got some great new features inside of Media Central Cloud UX, and one of them is a new sports and reality television logging app as well. And we'll be doing separate tutorials about the log app coming in the future. So Media Central Cloud UX, the ability to work wherever with whatever content you have. I can write my story, I can search my content, I can publish to social media, I can add graphics. And don't forget that the Media Central platform is open with many great integrations with our alliance partners as well. Just another advantage of the Media Central platform.